Hey everyone, Ryan from Me Bike Escape, and today we're checking out a suspension stem made by a company called Connect. Now they do also make a suspension seat post, which I highly recommend. I've been testing it out over the last few months. They sent me both that suspension seat post as well as a suspension stem. And I have to admit, when I first heard about the suspension stem, I was really intrigued, so I wanted to check it out for myself. Now this is going to be more of a niche product only because of of its price point it currently comes in at $180 but for those people who ride very frequently perhaps this might be a good option to soak up some of the vibrations or some of the small bumps on the road and I just wanted to test out the stem and see what kind of difference it can make especially with bikes that do not have a front suspension so my wife and I were talking about what bike we should put this on it was between our Unero all-wheel drive fat tire electric bike or uh, our rad power bikes rad wagon and the reason we chose our unirail bike is because we're likely to take this bike off-road more so we'll probably benefit a little bit more soaking up some of those bumps so let's get this thing installed and i'll also take some riding footage and see if you can tell in the video how much of a difference it makes so the first thing we need to do is take off the old stem this is a non-adjustable stem and you can see here that i opted for the connect suspension stem that has a 30 degree rise this is the 100 millimeter in length stem they also sell a 90 105 and 120 millimeter and those are all at seven degrees Now that we have the old stem off, we can go ahead and install the new suspension stem. Note that you might have to remove a spacer like I did here, just because the new suspension stem is a little bit taller. And you can already see that 30 degree rise, how that's going to change the position of my handlebars. Really happy that I went with the 30 degrees versus the seven degree option. All right, and now let's get those handlebars installed and we'll be all set. So here's the amount of travel you can expect from the suspension stem. If it looks like I'm pushing hard on the handlebars, I'm actually not. Right out of the box, I could tell that the stem was helping to cushion bumps, though later in the video, I did decide to go with the firm spring. Note that the medium one comes installed. It was difficult to get some footage of the stem in action while I was riding without causing too many viewership headaches. But here's some footage slowed down, which hopefully demonstrates how even with a crushed gravel parking lot, it is absorbing the bumps. The medium spring comes pre-installed, but they give you a soft as well as a firm spring. For my liking, I found the firm spring to be the best. It's very easy to remove the old one. There's just a simple set screw and you also have to pull out a pin. Once you have your spring in place, all you need to do is clip it together and insert a pin. You do need to make sure that the hole for the set screw is pointed towards where the set screw will hit and push it into place and then tighten the set screw with a two and a half millimeter Allen key. I hope you found this review of the Connect suspension stem helpful. I do think the product does exactly what is advertised to do. So if you have some upper body sensitivities, it might be a great product to check out. Of course, if you're looking for a little bit more bang for your buck and you don't already have a suspension seat post, I think that's a great step because that will definitely increase the comfort on your electric bike. I will put links in the description to both this suspension stem as well as the suspension seat posts I recommend. I will also have a link to my full electric bike accessories list and you can also check out my electric bike deals page. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.